always look at people and you see people on social media and you always think, oh God, their life is amazing. Their life is great. You know, <laughs> everything is perfect yeah. for them, you know, but it's like, I always wonder sometimes like, did you have struggles along the way? Were there struggles? Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't, I have a finicky relationship with Instagram to begin with because it just does such a bad job of really showing anybody what's going, really going on, you know? Um, and I haven't, I'm, I'm usually very private. And I think my, my resolution for 2021 is to be less fearful and, you know, speak about things with a bit more right. courage. Um, but I've had a lot of, you know, uh, I've dealt with depression and anxiety issues, you know, for a long, a long, really? at least years, you know, for at least, a, yeah. So, um, mental health is a big one for me. And I think also that's what draws me to nature is that I found that that would really help. Um, but learning about mental illness, mental health, I think is a really important thing that we are all doing right now. Um, and I'm learning how to speak about it, I guess, truthfully, but it definitely like, isn't something like I'll post little things on my Instagram about mental health and in support of it and whatnot in my stories. But I don't go on Instagram very much. And talk about that. I try to. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been intending on talking about it more, but um, but I don't, I don't, I'm still, I don't know how. It's hard. <laughs> it know? is hard, you know, because it's like, it's very personal. Yeah. It's very personal. And it's yeah. like, I think a lot of times people like, I'll look at something and you're like, they're like, her life looks amazing. Like, it's amazing. Like she doesn't have yeah. any problems. Trust me. I can tell you now <laughs> she has no problem, but it's like, right? it's, it, I think it's like important for people to hear because I think it gives them, um, you know, like, I think we're all human and we all have our ups and downs and we all have our stuff. But like, mm -hmm. I think just mm -hmm. hearing that from you now and not knowing that I feel like that gives people inspiration to go, you know what? She has a great life, but she has her struggles too. And that doesn't mean yeah. that I can't be successful if I have issues, you know? Yeah. And I think, you know, that a big part of that, I think presenting how you present yourself to the world and the fact that, you know, we all have our own peccadillos mm -hmm. and our own struggles and our own things that make us quirky and weird and things that we don't, we're not sure about and big decisions and big things that, you know, events that affect us, you know, we're always getting kind of tumbled around. Things aren't always beautiful it's important to recognize that because this digital age makes it easy mm -hmm. to forget. And one of the things I also have another resolution was that I was going to stop like editing my photos. Oh. You know what I mean? Where you can kind of like, yeah. like edit your photo. I was like, I'm going to stop doing that because I don't think that that's helpful. Like it's wasting yeah. my time. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> but you know, that's even like, I'll go to a photographer and we'll do a glorious shoot and it can be more creative, right. but I don't have to be um, worrying about, you know, making my life look like it's this perfect glistening you know, pearl when it's not yeah. reality. How do you, how have you dealt with the mental health stuff? Have you, do you go to therapy? Do you, is it just medication? Is it just stuff that you're just continuing to help? No, I definitely try to stay away from medication just because those are, I, I, I just don't, I don't know. You know, to me, those are like last mm -hmm. resort things. Um, but sometimes, you know, their first step things, uh, though I can't really speak to that because that's yeah, so right, individualistic, right. but I definitely know that um, finding a good therapist is hugely important because there's a lot of ones right. that aren't great or just not right, fits right, right. for you, you know, um, and those become your teachers and those help, you know, with becoming your sounding boards to hearing your like self and understanding your own cycles and your own patterns of ups and downs and how you deal with things but reading about it, you know, I also realized like <laughs> my therapist told me, she was like, like, well, what, like, what are your needs with this relationship? And I was like, well, I don't know. Like I realized I didn't have a lexicon or the vocabulary to describe what I needed, you know, out of things or in relationships, with friends or boyfriends mm -hmm. or whomever. And I didn't have a lexicon for, um, what emotions were. I would always say that I feel frustrated. Oh. 
she was like, well, get behind mm. that. Like what type, like that's not a feeling. She was, that's not a feeling. And I'm like, yes, it <laughs> Right. <is."> I'm <laughs> telling you, it's frustrating. I'm feeling it right now. Yes, you need yes. <laughs> you know? And so she taught you that? She yes, taught you yes. how to get behind yeah. that? It's, it's self, it's essentially self-care, you know, like learning about yourself, like what works, what doesn't. I found writing works really mm. well for me. Um, dancing works really well for me. Being in nature works really well for me. That's, that's very cool. It's always, I always just like people, you know, just to know that, um, that whatever people's struggle is or whatever, if there is, or there isn't or whatever, there's, there's options and there's opportunities. And I think people look up to you, you, you know, as such a great kind of strong role model. Mm -hmm. 